Okay, we'll call the meeting to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation following. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear God, please bless our elected officials. Grant them the wisdom to know and the courage to do what is right for all citizens. Amen. 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 Roll call, please. Allen? Here. LaFour? Here. Ms. Stravich? Here. Rindell? Here. Ricks? Here. Schultz? Here. Warren? Here. Good to see everybody here tonight. Approval of the minutes for the City Council meeting that was held on January 15th. Is there a motion to accept those minutes? I'll make a motion. Support. Motion been made and supported. Any discussion? All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We also have the quarterly roundtable meeting minutes of the same date. Is there a motion for those minutes? I'll make a motion. Support. Motion been made and supported. Any discussion? Do you not? All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? <clears throat> motion does pass. We move on to audience comments on any non-agenda items. It doesn't look like there's anybody other than people that are going to be on the agenda this evening. We move on to adoption of the agenda. Mr. City Manager, any changes? Uh, one addition to the consent agenda, item D, the 2024-2025 goals and objectives. Okay. City Council, any changes? If not, a motion to accept the agenda as presented would be in order. I'll make that motion. Support. What's been made and supported. Any discussion? All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We move on to uh, items for consideration. We have eight this evening. The first one being consideration of veteran banners. Mr. City Manager. The City Council is scheduled to consider a request from Jim Wilton uh, and the Veteran Banner Project to hang banners with the names and photos of veterans listed on our, our memorial on the banner arms on light poles on Main Street from the intersections of Monroe uh, down to Water Street uh, for the two weeks leading up to Memorial Day and the two weeks following, which would be May 13th through June 10th. Um, we worked with Jim last year uh, to put uh, signs uh, of the veterans that we had photos for um, in our uh, planting beds around the veteran park there around the memorial. Uh, well received. Uh, at that time, uh, Jim had mentioned wanting to do the banners, and uh, council directed myself to work with Jim to make sure logistically it worked out with other banner requests and everything. So uh, we met um, a week or so ago and went, went over all the uh, veterans that he has pictures for and, and those that he's still working on. And, and we hope that, you know, although we're approving the banners we are tonight, that by the time we get to Memorial Day, he may have even more of those uh, veterans that we will be able to find pictures for. So um, there's uh, 17 photos that he has now, which would be like eight banners, uh, double-sided, and then one banner would be a veteran on one side and all the names on the other. Um, and so I believe he secured funding from the Richmond Lions Club uh, to pay for the banners, and then if approved, uh, we'd work with DPW to hang them. Very good, thank you. Jim, do you have anything to add to this? I'm just ask if everybody's got a copy of the banner. Yes, yeah, we all have it. Very good, very good. Is there a motion? I'll make the motion to approve the use of the light pole banners, arms, from Water to Monroe Streets to hang veteran banners near the Veterans Park for the two weeks prior to Memorial Day and the two weeks following, uh, May 13th through June 10th. Support. Usman made and support. Any discussion? Glad to see that you've followed through on your promise. It's great to see this. Uh, put a face to the names that we have on our uh, memorial there. Yeah. Right, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? <laughs> motion does pass. Again, we thank you. Good job.
Item number two, consideration of purchasing solar power radar signs. Mr. City Manager. City Council is scheduled to consider approving the purchase of three TC600 solar powered radar signs from Radar Sign. Uh, this is the same company we purchased the original four battery operated uh, units. Um, and uh, after reviewing all the specifications, we're recommending uh, continuing with, with the same company. Um, as we talked about uh, previously with council during roundtables, uh, three of the four current locations would be um, able to be switched over to solar powered. And then that would allow those three, uh, the two on Division Road and the one at North Main Street, to be relocated to uh, poles where we are, or speed limit signs where we already have uh, brackets for them. Um, and the brackets can be moved so we can always pick new streets if we want. Um, the brackets currently are on Howard, Ridge, Pound, and Forest. Um, but again, uh, the brackets are relatively easy to move, so we can move them around if we need to. But uh, by, by doing that, we would then uh, take three of the current locations, turn them over to solar, and the three battery units that we have would be relocated to other streets. Very good. Thank you. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to waive the purchase purchasing ordinance requirements under Section 64-53D and Authorize the city manager to sign the quote from radar sign for three TC 600 solar powered radar signs in brackets in the amount of $11,814. Support. Most been made and supported. Any discussion on this? Glad to see this happening. Uh, we had talked about this in the workshop and that we wanted to see this happen. Uh, thank you, administration, for getting, jumping right on this. And we definitely have a problem with speeding in this town. Uh, I know a lot of other communities have the same problem. But we've got some definite problems where people think it's a racetrack here on some of our streets. It works. It definitely works. When it's been on that portable's been on my street, it slows people right down. I don't know if they're not thinking, you know, and they see that and they think about it, but it it seems to work. Um, so I appreciate this. I'm sure city council will echo the same uh, sentiments. We we need to. It's a big problem in our town. People think it's a racetrack. So. And also, uh, Mr. Mayor, that uh, you're seeing them around the, the state everywhere, small towns, large towns. I mean, yeah. I mean, towns that are very, very small have them, and yeah. uh, they seem to be very effective Good. when you go through there. Yeah. You travel a lot through, <laughs> through the, the state, state, so. Yes, yeah. Very good. Any other comments? <clears throat> Roll call, please. LaFour. Yes. Mistrovich. Yes. Reindell. Yep. Ricks. Yes. Schultz. Yes. Warren. Yes. Allen. Yes. Motion does pass. Uh, we have a timeline on that, Mr. State Manager. Uh, I don't actually. Okay. Um, uh, no. Yeah. I don't. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I can email out to council once I uh, sign the quote and send it in. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, number three is uh, consideration of city hall improvements. Okay. Council is scheduled to consider two quotes from Rio Contracting to continue the city hall improvements. Uh, uh, he, recently completed the work uh, in this room that we had uh, approved based on the um, work that the picture committee had done. Uh, that included also uh, wood trim and uh, lobby and a display case and a timeline uh, wood trim in the community room. Um, so since then, there were some projects that came up in discussions during those improvements. Uh, one. Uh, would be uh, a crown molding in this room and some drywall repair uh, on the back wall. And then in the uh, lobby, uh, which is one quote, uh, the second quote is for the lobby where we have the plexiglass for the customer window uh, that was done pretty quickly during yeah. COVID. Uh, now that we have the nicer trim that goes around kind of the top of the wall or higher up on the wall and then the uh, oak display case, it kind of sticks out that it doesn't match. So uh, this would uh, make that all match so that when you walk in, it's all, all the wood in the lobby would also be the same. So uh, together, the two quotes are $6,000. Very good. Thank you. Is there a motion? I'll make the motion to approve the quotes from Rio Construct uh, Contracting and authorize the expense of $6,000 for the City Hall customer service window upgrades the crown molding and drywall improvements in the council chambers with the expense charge of the appropriate line items within the building and grounds uh, buildings and additions improvements fund support 
This one made and supported. Any discussion on this? Again, glad to see the administration followed up on this and we'll get that taken care of. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We move on to item number four is consideration of wastewater treatment plant dewatering pump replacement. Mr. City Manager. Yes, this is a pump for the wastewater treatment plant. Uh, it's used to drain the oxidation ditches and other uh, tanks at the plant for uh, cleaning and maintenance. Uh, the existing pump uh, was rebuilt once uh, and just uh, really has uh, completed its life expectancy and so uh, we're asking for you for uh, to replace that pump uh, it is through Kennedy Industries which are the sole source supplier for flight pumps uh, and Jim is here to answer any questions thank you Jim anything to add uh, nothing thank you okay is there a motion I'll make a motion to, uh, uh, to waive the purchasing ordinance uh, requirements due to due to section 64-53A and with authorization to ex expense of $12,742 with the purchase and installation and replacement uh, dewatering pump with the funds charged appropriate line item wastewater treatment equipment acquisition. Support. It's been made and supported. Is there any discussion on this? If not, all in favor, uh, roll call. <laughs> Ms. Dravich. Yes. Reindell. Yep. Ricks. Yes. Schultz. Yes. Warren. Yes. Allen. Yes. LaFour. Yes. Motion does pass. We move on to item number five, consideration of DPW yard paving contract award. Mr. City Manager. Uh, the current fiscal year budget includes 180000 for paving of the DPW yard. Uh, portions of the yard were paved in 2007 and the existing pavement is an overall poor condition and recent projects have resulted in grade pro grade changes in various removals for utility uh, connections and installations uh, so we did bid out uh, this this was uh, originally looked at all of the improvements at the DBW uh, were looked at as in kind of a master plan for that facility back in 2017 so we're kind of completing uh, a lot of the work that we envisioned back then uh, we did bid it out uh, the bid opening was last week and Aztec asphalt was the low bidder uh, and they have uh, performed well on other multiple projects within the city um, I'll let uh, Jim get into the nuts and bolts of what is and isn't being paved um, but uh, before you tonight is the award of the contract. Uh, it did come in uh, a little higher uh, than than budgeted, uh, but we do have funds and all of the funds are able to cover it. Thank you, Jim. Uh, yeah, it basically the unit price, as far as the, the bid amount, the unit prices were uh, as expected. There's just work that I had not accounted for in the original budget, that's why it was higher. But as far as the project, uh, it's repaving if you're at BB Street we'll call that the front repaving the entire front and, and around um, towards the salt bin which is all currently paved that would be replaced and then there's some additional areas which includes a, a driveway now, now that the barn is completed there's one through door there's a driveway leading into the back that we need to to add and there's we, when we built the salt bin it's all stone and millings around there which is good but it gets fairly uh, s muddy still even with stone there in the spring especially you're driving over there so we're looking to pave pave those areas add a little bit of concrete here there where we need it to, to do the project but it'll uh, certainly significantly improve the function in the yard now that the our building projects are completed and again as the city manager said there's a lot of grade changes there so to really pull everything together uh, very nicely Drainage, not a problem? Uh, well, slowly, DPW has been installing some drainage, so we're actually just finishing that up now. We had a few catch basins that we've added, so we've definitely accounted for drainage issues that we've had in the past. And, and again, now that they're all, they're all in so that we've completed that work in-house and we're paving and getting everything to those new basins. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to authorize the expenses of $215,933 to Aztec Asphalt for the DPW yard paving project with expenses charged the appropriate line item in the local street and major street funds. Support. 
Motion been made and supported. Any discussion? Uh, also, Jim, uh, my understanding, uh, we can't use any weed killer around the, the DPW um, the wells. <clears throat> well, I've talked to Eagle. I guess there's, it's 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 not as cut and dry as we can't. It's definitely recommended that we don't related to our drinking water wells that are on site. So we do we we do have the practice of not using weed killer around our all of our well houses, including at DPW. Yeah, so that would make sense to try and pave as much as you can and then asphalt fines wherever you can to keep the weeds from Yeah, yep. Yeah. And uh, maintain them. Okay. if it were my guy's opinion, they would probably pave the whole yard. I oh, don't I'm have sure. quite that perspective. <laughs> I do like to have some green space, so we've definitely tried to keep areas that we can't utilize or that we can uh, allow it to aesthetically, you know, benefit the, the yard. Your lighting is enough. Uh, it's it's enough. we we are as part of the barn project. We added some lights, some soffit lighting that we believe benefits us without providing light pollution. And we we also have run conduit to our salt bin with the intention of putting a few lights just for when we're there to turn on. Uh, so we do have that thoroughly lit. Good. But otherwise, we're comfortable with the lighting we have on site. Yeah. Okay, so in other words, you're not going to be coming back to us. We've again? we've tried to uh, plan for everything. And <laughs> We're going to miss you. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything else on this? All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against. Motion does pass. <coughs> Item number six: consideration of 2024 aggregate material supply contract award. Mr. City Manager. Council is scheduled to consider awarding the 2024 to 2026 aggregate material supply bid. Um, this is for the purchase and delivery of 21AA limestone and MDOT class three sand. Uh, Piper's Act, TR Piper's Act is the low bidder. Thank you. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to award the 2024 aggregate ma material supply contract at TR Piper's Act. At the unit price of $20.91 per ton for 21AA limestone and $7.30 per ton for MDOT Class 3 sand. Support. What's been made and supported. Any discussion? I just misspoke when I was reading it. Uh, the generator contract and the next item is 2426. This is the 24 contract for Supply. We weren't going to call that out on you. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> we can go 24, 26 if we wanted to. <laughs> if they hold their prices, then we would. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> all right, discussion? Being that, all in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Does pass. Item number seven, consideration of 2024-2026 generator maintenance contract award. Mr. City Manager. All right, here we go. Yeah. Uh, council scheduled to consider the generator maintenance contract. Uh, we do this in a two-year increment, um, or I'm sorry, three. Uh, and uh, ACDC Electrical was the low bidder. They have previously uh, held this contract in the past. Thank you. Is there a motion? I make the motion to award the 2024 to 2026 generator maintenance contract 2024 Gen 1 to ACDC Electrical with the expense charge to all the appropriate line items listed with an estimated amount of $23,024. Support. Support. What's been made and supported? You need discussion on this item. Do you not? All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Item number eight is consideration of DP, DPW signage proposal. Mr. City Manager. The City Council is scheduled to consider the purchase of new streetscape style signs for the DPW facility. The city previously installed blue streetscape signs at most of the city properties, <laughs> uh, library, fire halls, city hall, um, <coughs> 
uh, the parks and entryways into the city. Uh, that project was funded through TIFA. Um, unfortunately, at the time, uh, DPW wasn't included in the project. Uh, there was some very old school views of uh, their signage there, and, and now with Jim's new barn project and, and moving forward, we'll bring them into the fold. And so uh, Jim's done a nice job of not only kind of doing the perpendicular sign that'll go off the front of the building, uh, that'll kind of match the one that's at the fire hall, uh, but at the corner of water and stone, mm -hmm. Uh, there will be one about the size of uh, the library sign, I believe, yep. um, that will uh, kind of, when coming from that direction from Main Street, you'll also know that that's the DPW guard. Um, and so it'll look nice, we believe. Um, we are recommending to waive the purchasing ordinance requirements and go with the low bidder for the last phase of the streetscape signs that we did. Um, and. Uh, move forward with this project uh, I did put that we're waiving the purchasing ordinance in the motion uh, but as the mayor mentioned earlier tonight uh, forgot that it was a roll call or didn't list that it was a roll call Jim any comments on this item uh, no other than we did move the old sign inside we didn't get rid of it it's a decoration if you will now because it is it is kind of neat but uh, it will be nice to kind of match the rest of the facilities uh, if w if we proceed with this very good is there a motion I'll make a motion to waive purchasing ordinance requirements due to section 64 dash 53d and to authorize the expense of twelve thousand one hundred twenty six dollars for the purchase and installation of streets streetscape style signage for the dpw barn and yard with expenses charged to the appropriate line items listed support most were made and supported any other discussion on this item is this going to have your name on it in big letters? Oh, it will not. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to have very many more chances, I don't think, because five-year plan is done unless he's got, he doesn't have a new five-year plan I, you know, either. You know, we, yeah, yeah. We, we have a truck that we're still kind of. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. Aye. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a roll call. Oh, yep. oh, Reindell. So. Yep. Ricks. Yes. Schultz. Yes. Warren. Yes. Allen. Yes. LaFour. Yes. Mistrovich. Yes. Motion does pass. Okay, we move on to miscellaneous matters from the city manager. Uh, as I mentioned, we're still uh, investigating the best way to proceed with uh, our uh, middle plow truck, um, and so still kind of getting quotes for the new engine, uh, all, all of the alternatives, also having the school bus mechanic talk directly to them to kind of have his questions answered so mm -hmm. uh, we'll be bringing that information back to council as soon as we can put it all together uh, and then I would just like to thank all the people that participated at the chili cook-off whether it was those uh, staff and volunteers that helped uh, all the people that you know stepped forward and and made chilies uh, we, I think we had 12 uh, that, that did and then all the people that came out and tasted and uh, the ice uh, and Tiffa for doing that so it was a nice event the uh, so do we have two trucks now that are running or still just the one just the one just right the now. one yes. just the one we expect the other one will be fairly quickly though yeah, yeah. so that last uh, storm that we had one truck did the whole town yeah okay I, I would you know normally on Facebook you see a lot of complaints I did not see one complaint uh, you know about that so whoever you Hear had that. out there running um, they did a good job getting around town the best they could. So it would come to, I think we could probably get away with only two trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they're both broke. We could cut back his uh, yeah, budget uh, and not worry about that new engine for the... But he'll come up with something else that, well, we'd probably need a greater then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably. probably yeah. <laughs> go to the yeah. leaf truck. Yeah, leaf truck. Oh, there you go. There you go. Put a plow on it. Yep. Okay. So, okay, well... Hopefully we can get yeah, at yeah. least the one back in yes. case we get another snow here uh, with 40, 55 degrees on Thursday, I think it is. <laughs> you've, you've, we've been very lucky. Been lucky, yeah. Very lucky with the, the problems that we've had with those two trucks without them. Okay, uh, council comments? Michael? Uh, nothing, thank you. Dennis? Nothing. Jimmy? Nothing. Emily? Nothing tonight, thank John? you. John? Nothing tonight. Rob? I'm good. You're good. Okay, well, I'll echo the city manager's uh, 
uh, comments on the chili cook-off. Uh, they did a nice job up there. It was nice to have it back at the odd. And the number of people, I believe you told me there was a ton of people that uh, had gone through. Yeah, we had at least 197 people yeah. pay to go through and taste chilies. Um, right. And that doesn't count. There's a lot of people that come just to be a part of the event, watch. They may not yeah. uh, taste chilies in each of the chili people that come are often two to five or six standing there at their tables that don't get included in that count. So there was, yeah. there was a lot of people up there. Yeah, it's yes. very good. And then the ice was uh, une unexpected to have so many uh, ices, uh, ice sculptures uh, presented. They, they, uh, and it was beautiful work. They, they really did nice work up there. They which people nice can still go up and see. It's still there before our 54 yeah, degrees yes. uh, yeah. this week. But um, they did a nice job there. And I think that was uh, thanks to TIFA. Yes, T yep. TIFA, TIFA approved it, and uh, we worked with uh, Jeff Wolf uh, and Finesse Ice Team, uh, Finesse Carving, and uh, he had been the original carver back when the uh, chamber had first started the ice uh, festival way back when, and then they went away and used another company, but uh, he stayed in touch with us and came out and did a nice job. We weren't sure they had a lot of other commitments with other shows that weekend, but they came out Friday night, did a lot of carving, and it worked out great. They started carving uh, the two final projects, the Blue Devil and the uh, Big Dog, uh, rated 11, finished up right before the chili cook-off got over with, so people that were there could watch them carve and also see the final project if you stay to the end of the chili cook-off. Yeah, very nice. And also the big dog was actually dedicated to Bill Ruff, our past yeah. TIFA chairman. Yes, that was very nice. Very nice. Yep. That was yeah. great. Billy would have liked that. Yes. He definitely really. would have liked that. Okay, uh, calendar-wise, uh, I've got a few here. Uh, Adventures in STEM, it's, uh, Valentine's Day cards. Uh, that is at the library, uh, February 12th at 3.30, uh, ages 7 to 13. More information, 727-2665 uh, for the library. Hall walking still going on on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays uh, till April 11th. Uh, that hall walking is from 6 to 8 p.m. It's a dollar per evening. Questions on that? Uh, Parks and Rec at 727-3064. Two classes one day, strength and balance, uh, Thursdays, 9 to 10. This is called Young at Heart, um, cardio class. Um, there's another one on this. I'm not quite sure if I'm reading this right. Now they're saying here, uh, Thursdays, 9 to 10. Oh, that's strength and balance. Oh, and cardio class, two, two separate things uh, uh, from 10, 15 to 11 for the cardio class. It is a drop-in. It's six dollars a drop-in. Again, uh, more questions. Seven two seven three zero six four for our parks and rec, and beginners yoga on Mondays and Wednesdays from six to seven p.m. Uh, the first class started on January eighth. It will run through May twenty second. Uh, it's an eight dollar drop-in, and again, questions seven two seven three zero six four for our parks and recreation. Today being the fifth of February. Uh, there is a ZBA meeting, I believe, yes, at yes, 7. Yes. And then uh, planning will be meeting uh, right after the BZA meeting right here on the 8th. Uh, of course, everybody uh, have a great Valentine's Day on the 14th. We will uh, have the police officers dance, which I understand uh, there were still tickets available. Um, that would be 727-4000 uh, yes. uh, to uh, talk to uh, the police uh, about that and uh, otherwise you can go to Richmond flower shop at the corner of 32 and Main Street and uh, I believe that's where they're selling the tickets uh, early voting will be starting on that Saturday the 17th and uh, if you have questions on that you can call our clerk at 727-7571 and she can tell you all about this new early person in-person voting uh, all <laughs> the next week after that. So, and then the presidential primary uh, polls will open at 7 a.m. on the 27th of February. Our next regular scheduled meeting will be on the 19th, which is President's Day. Is there anything else we need to put on the calendar? If not, we'll move on. Closed session, uh, 
to uh, consider uh, property purchase. Uh, do we have a motion to go into close? I'll make a motion to convene into closed session in accordance with Section 8D of the Michigan Open Meetings Act, Public Act 267 of 1976, as amended to consider the purchase or lease of real property as requested by administration. Support. Motion been made and support. Any discussion? Be you not, roll call. Ricks. Yes. Schultz. Yes. Warren. Yes. Allen. Yes. LaFour. Yes. Mastrovich. Yes. Rindell. Yep. Motion does pass. We'll go into closed session. We'll, we're back in uh, uh, open session. I need a motion to go into open session. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to reconvene into open session. Support. Motion has been made and support. Is there any discussion? Be or not, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? We're back in open session. Motion passed. Uh, do uh, In other business, we have uh, consideration of property purchase. Um, is there a motion? I'll make a motion to direct the city manager to proceed with the sale and purchase of property. Support. Motion been made and supported. You need discussion. Be or not, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. M Michael? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Support. Motion been made. There is no discussion on the adjournment motion. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion passes. Thanks for being with us.